Okay, I've never played Iron Lung before. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what genre it's in. It's apparently pretty short. So let me check it out here. Uh, audio looks okay, but it's the title screen. So let me know if it ends up being too loud once we start here. Every known star and habitable planet vanished. Quiet rapture. Supplies dwindling. Infrastructure crumbling. Survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources. One moon holds a strange anomaly. An ocean of blood. Oh. You're a convict tasked with exploring this anomaly in a makeshift submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. Not designed for this depth. You'll be welded inside and the forward window will be closed. There was no time for training. Successful, you earn your freedom. Interesting. Beginning at descent. These cool art horror adjacent games like uh, Night Slink and Paratopic. And... Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. I wonder if this could be like a VR game. Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. Closing porthole shielding. Is my controller to run this thing a Logitech controller? We're starting to lose rate of signal. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so repeat thing and be careful. You're on your own. Good. Spooky. Just want to interact, WASD to move. B for briefing. Look an exploration of the moon. A fourth blood ocean. Photograph points of interest with the forward camera. Photos will be taken within two units of the specified position and 10 degrees at the specified angle. Use the camera to help with navigation. Only photos taken on the specified points will be saved. If you can't navigate by sight, pay attention to your coordinates and consult the map. Proximity indicators next to the subcontrols will trigger if you're getting close to an obstacle. That's cool. Map. Mention sparks and the like. Oh, well, that's pretty spooky. Each of these, I take it. X one eighty Y five seventy six. Well, we want to start like all the way up here, I take it. Let's see. Y one eighty six X three twenty two. Probably the closest one to start, right? So anywhere in 186 is probably fine. X. I adjust my X. Is that something else here? It's pretty spooky to just take the camera. Help. How to X. Known query. Oops. Not an expedition. An execution. When they put you in here, they don't want you to return. And if you do, even if they keep their promises, what freedom waits for you? You dying ships in a sea of stars. It will get their execution. I will get my freedom. So what else is... 
adjustable here. It seems to only work for Y, not X, right? Turn this. Maybe 33, right? Bottom depth. I'm just trying to see if there's any other interactables that will let me turn the thing the way I expect it to. I don't want to quit the game. I guess I'm going to Google it because it's just confused as to where the button is. Change X. Um, iron lung. Oh, it's, oh, I think I see. I'm like pointing. Go forward and back. Okay, that makes sense. Gotcha. So I do need to have a facing at the end. I'm here for, there's something there. Sorry, I just wasn't clear as to how it was controlling. Pretty spooky. Really do like not having a window. On the map is pretty helpful, I guess. Cause I can, like imagine where I am, I guess. Maybe there's like secrets in some of those alcoves that aren't marked. Twenty two. It would be nice if when you start out like the default direction the sub is facing just causes you to slam into a wall if you point this. That would have made it more obvious. Like a scary picture. It wants me to face a specific direction, right? Oh, but it does say an angle, right? 33. You type hide before your message. I can't see it. Oh, hey, I marked it. Okay, cool. You like the element of having to like imagine where you are in the map. It's quite clever. It's two sixty
378. Like really striking like setting concept. Sixty three. Oops. Right, I'm going backward. Okay, I see. Oops, too far. Three seventy eight, two sixty three, fifty. See if they're gonna do a jump scare on me here. It's nice that they just move you to zero depth. Be pretty hard. Two fifty nine four oh six. I go through a pretty tight passage here. Normal sound. I have to get Andrea. She has to do spherical coordinates all the time. Didn't realize that I was had a limited amount of oxygen. That's pretty bad. Unless if that's scripted. Six. Saving progress. That makes me nervous too. I really like the choice to not give you a port window and you having to use the camera. Very, very mean. Then it's two ninety six. Spooky spook. Okay. Don't think I want to go places that aren't mapped. I think that is a pretty bad idea. coming up against that wall that fit out of this little tight fit here. Uh, 
Oh, it doesn't remind me what the old... I guess I can tell. I guess I can look at the side here. So, like, 275 is when I want to start banking. East. Does feel safer than having a Logitech controller. Three fifty is when I want to start turning it up. I like three fifty and three hundred. That's actually pretty close to where I want to be. So just need to fit through this tiny little gap here I like games like this that require you to use your imagination um, talked before there's a really cool exhibit at the San Francisco Exploratorium called the Tactile Dome and it's this uh, labyrinth so there's only one way forward you can't get lost in it um, but it's completely pitch black you can't see it all and I have like a mental map of what that place probably looks like just based on like feeling the walls and they have like cool things will be there's like an area there's like spoons everywhere and you can tell there's spoons from sound or a room that's just all hairbrushes and the like uh, we need probably start turning soon I think I'm in the little tight corridor right Yeah, because there's like, well, I've never seen the inside of it, but you can brush them with your hand and you can hear them tink off each other. Uh, 560, 277. This area is pretty scary since it's like really open. That's pretty spooky. I don't like that. It's not fire. Okay. Well, I just got to deal with that now, I guess. I don't know if that's because I bumped into something or if it's just we're already below the depth I'm supposed to be at. Kind of reminds me of um, the Veil, the game where you play as a deaf character. Five sixty two seventy seven forty three. Always angler fish. Yeah, it's gonna be messed up when the maps are wrong. Six thirteen one ninety seven.
Right, it's just like a thing that they can do. cool to try to do like a horror game that's mostly sound Seven. whales are pretty scary but they're I guess they're mammals so Really, it's the hair that makes them terrifying. Oh. The complete skeleton, not a whale. So we need to get to 750, 275. Oh, that's really mean. It's really tiny. Okay. I slow down when I get somewhat close into a really tight fit. Probably fine most of the way. That's spooky, you don't like that. Two seventy five. was very worried about this. I think it's just a tight fit, basically. It's like... Maybe more like 265. I like how they're not really distinguishing between like walls versus a thing. Pretty scary. Yeah, I love Subnautica. It's excellent. Probably the best game I've played in a genre, unless if you count Terraria. But they're not really comparable in my mind. I made it through. Okay, so I think we're in the this cavern. In 864, 258. That was cool to kind of have to navigate the the tight corridor there.
Now, I'll state, and I always state this, I said this when we played Mother before, that it would be great if the thing that's scary about this is just this, and I'm not going to turn around and there's going to be a spooky ghost or something right behind me, right? Like, they can still do stuff to fuck around with the, uh, the submarine. Obviously, we're going to have to use this at some point. Or not. I guess it's maybe even interesting if we don't. Um, but I always will praise restraint when it comes to stuff like this. Like, I like the movie The Descent, and I think The Descent was scary enough before things happened. Um, all right. And then it became less scary for me. <laughs> yeah, it just happens to be an ocean of blood. That would be fun. Now, but but I when I say those things, if there is a spooky ghost behind me or there's a reason for it to be an ocean of blood, it's not going to, like, harm my experience. I will still have enjoyed it. Uh, but making me use my imagination for what's out there is definitely scarier than whatever they end up coming up with, I feel like. I still haven't played that dream horror game of... It's just the situations that's scary, right? Even though I think it has a ton of potential... Here we go, boo. Creepy. Okay. Okay, so we go back through the scary tight corridor. So my target should probably be like, I go up and around this. So like 285, I'm sorry, 850, 285. So wait, let me just try to confirm. I've got something below me and to the left of me. I'm at 843, which is like, oh, I probably haven't cleared this. Fuck, okay, hold on. Like 300 is a pretty safe. Yeah, it's overshooting it, but. I think I just passed by it. Okay. We. At 800, now we have to bank a little bit down. 288 is like way too high. Yeah. I really like that the proximity alarm is only orthogonal, right? It just tells you up, down, left, or right. You kind of have to adjust from there. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Horror traveling salesman. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Perfect timing right there, too. All right, I think we cleared it. 750, 250 and some change. Yeah, okay. We go the long way now. Oh, for sure. Don't know what I hit. 
Oh, am I at this thing? No, I'm past that thing. Okay. Time to start turning up now. 350. So we want to be at like 560. Perfect. And then 375. I guess if we're at 560, I'm probably just good to sail right through there. I'm eventually trying to get to 500 and some change. That makes sense. friendly dolphin who bumped into me. It's fine. Oh, shit. Like the idea of like having to come to a complete stop at some point just due to pure spook uh it's gonna be 6 23 5 20. pass a little close to a cave lip north of me. Seems like the kind of game that would be fun to put a really like goofy Easter egg somewhere. Like Michigan frog or something. Ready? Boo! Skeletons. Okay, so I have a choice now. I have a feeling this is a scam. I'm gonna go all the way west, not be able to cross, and have to come back here and go all the way around. But I will, I will fall for the scam. Let's go. Okay, exactly. somewhere you can go that's not on the map that's like very secret we need to get to x like 350 damn baby my sub's on fire let's replace all of the spooky anglerfish noises with you just hear a distant Michigan frog singing. That'd be pretty scary. So I'm like here. I'm like in the dead center of the grid. list up a bit here. So we're at like 
400 now, so I can try turning into the, the void. I really like the way this game is paced, too, where the first two are pretty easy. This is a little tricky. These are super easy, but you're spooked by being in this big open area. Then you have to go through the really tight space. All the while, you're noticing, what am I supposed to do over here? <laughs> that doesn't seem great. Oxygen notification. Great. Maybe I should stop talking. I assume with the rate that it's saving that that's a narrative trigger and not actually based on time spent in the sub. They wouldn't just have you start the game over, but still, it's either way, it's pretty good. There's kind of a tight corridor here. Three seventy one, six hundred is like here. Yeah, that would that tracks. Okay, that was more straightforward than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, let's go get the scary one over there. So why five seventy six? Technically, it's six. 5660 first. Oh, God. Let me do all that with just the sound behind you. Don't be on fire. 660. X, we're like all the way over here. So we gotta hang a left, and then I probably need to make some adjustments. Slightly downward here. Trying to get to like 300, 250. There's Y. 650's too low. Maybe now's the time to adjust. See, I'm at 271, 638. Yeah, I'm, I'm like right against this wall here. Okay, so we gotta go up. So that 650 was right where it starts, so maybe if I hang a left now, we should be good. Saving progress. I'm like, close to that south wall right now. This whole thing kind of sucks. Okay, so when I get to like 200x, I need to turn. I really like how you kind of get a feel for this. Smart. A 
literally at 200. But I gotta be more like 175 eventually, 180. here is not going to be a fun time. 180 what? 185.76? Oh, that's kind of cool because my oxygen's low. Yeah, I guess if they're going to do stuff, it'll be when I have hypoxia, right? The little thing, the text about it being a death sentence, 184. Ooh. Photograph the anomaly. Do start to hallucinate. Shit gets real weird. I didn't even think about hypoxia as like a, a horror potential. Like I just kind of thought of it in terms of like, oh, it's gonna be scary because you're gonna die because you're not gonna have any. That's scary. Not gonna have any oxygen. Uh, we need to get up to like six, a little bit more than six fifty. Just hang it right. Like, I'm fine. This is fine. So I need to get to 325. And 741. That area is grayed out, which is a little spooky. Do you like you occasionally just bump into stuff that's not doesn't come up on the proximity warning at all? Can we just photograph the last one and just fucking die, I guess? pretty spooky big crab boy it looks like i love that they make this like super low resolution okay it would be right we gotta get to like 690 why like 450x is when i need to start being worried
700 is yeah, a little too high. Almost perfect. Like 690. I think we can just go right now. Hey, Bucky, how you doing? Oh, shit. So if that's, let's see, I'm at 459, 690. So that's like here. And it's on my right. I think I have to go further down then. I really like this game, by the way. Uh, you know, Thalassophobia and everything, like, I think it's very smart so far. I'd love to see more experiences like this. What is on my right? Stayed very close to me. That's a little bit scary. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's fucking great. Perfect timing, too. 690. All right. Love you like the, what's here? This doesn't look right. I'm looking on the map. That's like the perfect thing to show up on the picture too, just an eye. Big, big, big fan. to deal with the mundane horror of submarining through a cave where I can't see anything. Uh, we gotta get to like five... I like 600 would be great, actually. I wonder, like, to what extent they're actually rendering things outside the submarine. Like, is there actually a fully 3D beast? Right? And you get a different picture depending on when you take the picture. But they, they, they probably do some shenanigan to make sure you see the eyeball, right? It's too perfect. Uh, but I like it either way. Oh, uh, a little spooky, all with blood. So we gotta get up to like 760. That's 575. I'm already there. No, it only saves the photos that matter. I don't think it is the game would be appropriate to have like weird fail conditions like that. Um, 760 and then we're here, so we can go east. We need to get to like 675. <laughs> right. That's, that was what I was wondering. Like, I'm sure it's just doing that. Like, are you within the bound and then show a static image? But I'm curious if you, like, move slightly, if you would see something different.
Oh god! <laughs> they earned it, that's fine. <laughs> Yay! Excellent. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. Hooray! I don't think the eye was too much. I think it was they they did their put in their work. You see the anglerfish the one time. You see all these corpses everywhere. You hear things bumping around you. It's not accompanied by an audio sting, right? Raise more questions than answers. Satellite images showed pieces of the SM-13 scattered all over the bottom of the trench. Somewhere in the void, there must be hope. My only complaint is leave out the line about as though it had been torn apart by a huge beast. It's fine. The, the, we couldn't handle the depth and the um, <laughs> subrate exploded. That was sick, though. Thank you, uh, K5 Josh. That's uh, going to go very high on my horror experiences on stream. Perfect little one hour game. Perfect uh, mechanic. Um, I think it takes just the right amount of time to do stuff. There's just enough like skill involved in terms of uh, having to navigate through the tight little corridors and it's paced really well, right? Ah, oh, very good. Was it Chaos who requested this to like get a thing on the schedule? Gotcha. Really enjoyed it though, I had a good time with it. I think that's like elevated above your usual like streamer reacts kind of a game too, but it's good. 